Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you pass your US citizenship interview. Today, I'm gonna to go over the official 100 civics questions in order, and I'll give you the simplest answer to remember. Are you ready? Let's do it. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one branch or part of the government. The president. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? 
This answer depends on where you live, so make sure you look it up. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Name your U.S. representative. Like the senator, this answer depends on where you live. So make sure you look it up and get the right one. Depends on your address. Who does a U.S. senator represent? All the people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. We elect a president for how many years? Four. So it goes two, four, six. The House of Representatives is two, the president is four, and the senator is six. In what month do we vote for president? November the month of Thanksgiving. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. All right, break time. Stretch, get some water, a snack. And I also wanted to mention that if you need some extra help with your interview, we offer live mock interviews on our website. We've helped a lot of applicants and we would love to help you. All right, you guys ready? Let's get back to the questions. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Who signs bills to become laws? The president, again. Who vetoes bills? The president. And what does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. You can picture them all around a big table. What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. And remember, it always needs to be an odd number so that, that decision can be made. So nine. 
Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To give a driver's license. Who is the governor of your state now? This one depends on where you live, so I hope you know your governor. What is the capital of your state? This one depends on your state. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Women and men can vote. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens. To vote in a federal election. It's the same thing. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech and freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? the United States. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To be loyal to the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What are the two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and run for office. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Don't want to be late. 
When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? The Native Americans. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. They called it taxation without representation. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. And that's the 4th of July. That's where we got that. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, New Hampshire. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Pretty easy, it's in the question. When was the Constitution written? 1787. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Who was the first president? George Washington. Almost done. This is the home stretch. You can do it. <laughs> I know it's long. All right. Are you ready? Let's finish it up. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What 
was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? He freed the slaves through the Emancipation Proclamation. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? It freed the slaves. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Italy, and Germany. That one's really hard for me to remember, so I remember JIG. Japan, Italy, Germany. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi River. It's one of my favorite words, Mississippi. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? 
the New York Harbor. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and Christmas. And the last question is a bonus question. So what is the form of government of the United States? Do you know? Republic. All right, you made it. I hope this helps you. Check out my other videos. Keep studying. I know you can do it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.